Hey, this is Tom Twilliger, the Achievement Mentor, and I'm here in a very special location. It's the Exempla Lutheran Medical Center, and we're here for what they call Destination Wellness Challenge, and this is what they do. Every Wednesday, they get together a group of people, and they go for walks. It's part of a wellness program that follow what they call their Biggest Loser Challenge, and it also precedes something that's coming up, which is really special, which is taking place on Cancer National Cancer Survivor Day which is there at Leaves for Hope 5K Run Walk. And with me is David Manthe from, tell me about where you're from and what you do, David. So I'm the owner of uh, the owner and the coach of Runners Edge of the Rockies, and we're the largest marathon, half marathon, and running training program in the Denver metro area. Wow, wow! And I got to tell you, that says something because Denver, I mean Colorado, we've got a lot of runners here, don't we? We've got quite definitely, a population. Definitely. So you do a lot of coaching. In fact, you've been working with a lot of these individuals to really kind of get them prepped for what happens here on Wednesdays, but also for that 5K, 10K that's coming up. Yeah. Absolutely. So we're going to try to basically work with these individuals, find out obviously. One, what kind of a background they have, if they've, if they've run before, if they haven't run before, if they're just getting into it, and then give them the tools that they need, the plan that they need so that they can have a successful race. Wow, that's fantastic. And I tell you, that, that goes all the way in terms of what we talk about in mentorship and coaching. If you really want to be successful at whatever you're doing out there, whether it's walking, running, bodybuilding, achieving something better in your business, having a coach, having a mentor, someone who knows what they're doing to help share that knowledge so you get it done right and get it done successfully hey listen there's no reason to recreate the wheel or in this case the legs so find a coach get it done we're gonna keep you updated as we get started with our walk today Destination Wellness Challenge is where people get together every Wednesday in this great organization to run, to walk, whatever they can do to participate in exercise. Because as we know, it builds energy and it's all about managing energy. So, you're going to stay with us on this run? Let's go for it. Actually, we're going to walk, but it's going to be a whole lot of fun. All right, so we're out on the road. We've already done, well, a couple of blocks. Let's call it about 100 yards. And I'm feeling a little winded already. It's great. Well, that's part of the thing about being in the Mile High City. This altitude will challenge your cardiovascular system. So it's time to step up. Whether you're running or walking yourself, bam. Let's take it up a pace or two. Come on. The energy of participating in exercise with a group is incredible. I mean, right now, you know, I'm not pushing my pace per se, but there are people that are really that just not walkers, that are pushing their pace, that are challenging themselves, all because of the energy of the group. Find a partner, find a group you can exercise with, it'll keep you encouraged, it'll keep you motivated, and you'll do the same for them. So March on! Doing? Well, that's it. One mile. It doesn't sound like a whole lot, but i got to tell you something. You do that on a daily basis. Get up and move around, particularly at lunchtime, and it eliminates those noonday lunchtime doldrums and the two o'clock comatose experience that you might have. Instead, it boosts your energy level. And when you do finally eat, instead of having it for lunch, you go out for exercise, you finally eat afterwards, you're encouraged to eat something a little bit lighter. Chicken, nice salad, something light. You don't want to weigh yourself down after this. One mile. That's all it takes. Get out and move.